Hi there, I'm just um, going to quickly go over the really cool features of uh, the responsive design for the shop that are in there at the moment. So I'm just about to redo the design, so who knows what we'll have left. It would be a good idea to maybe look over this video when it's redone and make sure we've still got these features or put them back in. Okay, so here goes. Now, <coughs> first up, I like this little thing that goes over here, but it's it gets in the way of the picture a bit when it's small. So it's really cool that it just goes up, goes away when it gets too small, and moves the caption underneath. The responsive design again. Ah, and other elements of responsive design that I like is the menu. It goes up into a little menu. Obviously, my search buttons in the completely wrong place, but as you can see, it pops out. And um, we need to change the names of the menus because the main menu and secondary menu aren't that helpful. You could say other stuff, main stuff, or something be more relevant than main menu. Anyway, so that's good. And obviously, it centralizes the logo. And moves everything into one column, which is nice. I like that. So yeah, yes, yeah, so the search floating over this side. I think you know this would this would be a theme that we could like publish, pretty much. Uh, um, so whether we work with this theme or we start uh, all over again with the Zen theme. Another thing I like. Uh, is this um, search that corrects your your um, corrects your text as you type, uh, co comparing it to what's on your website already. So, um, all right, except. Obviously, I'm going to exclude the um, the slideshows from the search results because otherwise we're just going to get pictures and no text and that's not much fun. We obviously need to make a, a slideshow or something for the blog posts um, and the basic pages, the information pages. Maybe make them all look the same would be wonderful. I like that idea. Okay, I think that's most of that. The um, the squishing up thing with the stuff going in the middle um, doesn't seem like that much to replace now, actually. Um, yeah. Good. Uh, so anyway, I'll um, speak to David later and um, we'll um, see what changes we can make. Um, and I'm also working with my David later, David, uh, who, who helped write this bit in the first place. Let's get these working properly, um, I hope. Uh, I've got a load of shit to tidy up, obviously. <laughs> So maybe starting a game would be a good idea. I don't think there's that much to stick back in. So I'll make a um, tutorial about the Zen framework. <laughs>